Today, we gather to embark on a reflective odyssey through the depths of philosophical pessimism, a journey illuminated by the thoughts of Arthur Schopenhauer. This exploration is not merely an academic exercise. It is a venture into the heart of human existence and the stark realities of our world as interpreted through the lens of Schopenhauer's philosophy. Born in 1788, Arthur Schopenhauer emerges as a unique figure in the annals of philosophy, distinguished by his profound pessimism. This worldview extends far beyond a personal inclination, forming a meticulously crafted philosophical tapestry. Grasping the essence of Schopenhauer's pessimism necessitates an intimate engagement with his core philosophical tenets, especially those pertaining to the nature of reality and the labyrinth of human desire. The linchpin of Schopenhauer's philosophy is the notion of the will. He envisages the will as the universe's underlying force, an irrational, blind, and unquenchable drive manifesting across the cosmos and human experience. This concept finds its roots in Immanuel Kant's thing in itself, the reality beyond our sensory grasp. Schopenhauer extends this idea, equating this enigmatic reality with the will. In the world as will and representation, he argues that our physical world experience is but a surface-level reality sculpted by our perceptual and cognitive faculties. Under this facade lies the will, the true essence of all, elusive and beyond direct comprehension. From this conceptualization of the will springs Schopenhauer's deep-seated pessimism. He contends that the will's character is defined by perpetual striving, an endless and fruitless pursuit of desires, forever unfulfilled. This relentless striving, he posits, is the wellspring of all suffering. Our desires, according to Schopenhauer, are a bottomless abyss. The fulfillment of one merely gives rise to another, entrapping us in a perpetual cycle of discontent and agony. This, he proclaims, is the quintessential human condition. Schopenhauer's interpretation of relentless striving casts a somber shadow over human existence. He portrays life as a relentless oscillation between desire and frustration, where brief interludes of satisfaction invariably succumb to further anguish. This outlook stands in stark contrast to philosophies that champion human progress, joy, and attainment as feasible objectives. For Schopenhauer, these are but illusions, the reality of our existence being inherently steeped in suffering. His philosophy also ventures into the domains of human relationships and societal structures. Schopenhauer views these constructs with skepticism, considering them as mere extensions of the self-serving will. Compassion, for him, is a rare human virtue, emerging not from societal or moral evolution, but from a deep awareness of the universal nature of suffering. In compassion, we momentarily break free from the will's grasp, recognizing in others' suffering a reflection of our own. Such moments of empathy, however, are fleeting in the generally desolate human condition. This raises a pivotal question. Is there an escape from the anguish wrought by the will? Schopenhauer offers a path to salvation, albeit one that necessitates a renunciation of the very essence of our nature. He suggests that the only respite from the will's relentless pursuit lies in the abdication of desire, drawing inspiration from Eastern philosophies, notably Buddhism. Through artistic immersion and asceticism, one may attain a state of desirelessness, detaching from the will and attaining a semblance of tranquility. Yet such states are elusive, often beyond the reach of the majority. In pondering Schopenhauer's philosophy, we must consider its broader ramifications. His pessimism invites us to introspect on the nature of happiness, desire, and the essence of life. It urges us to scrutinize whether our unending pursuit of desires leads to true fulfillment or traps us in an infinite loop of suffering. Schopenhauer's philosophy also prompts us to reflect on the roles of compassion and empathy in a world predominantly driven by self-interest and pain. Understanding Schopenhauer's pessimism requires contextualization within its historical and cultural milieu. Writing in an era marked by significant social, political, and intellectual shifts, Schopenhauer's pessimism can be viewed as a counter-narrative to the Enlightenment's optimistic doctrines of reason, progress, and the perfectibility of human nature. The resonance of Schopenhauer's ideas extends well beyond his era, influencing a diverse array of thinkers, artists, and writers. The existentialists, for example, drew upon his notions of inherent absurdity and suffering in human existence. 
His emphasis on the irrationality of the will and the futility of desire finds echoes in Freudian psychoanalysis with its exploration of the subconscious forces shaping human behavior. As we further navigate the realms of Schopenhauer's pessimism, let us contemplate its relevance in our contemporary landscape. How does his philosophy aid us in understanding the challenges of a rapidly evolving technological age, environmental crises, and social turmoil? Can his insights into the nature of desire and suffering provide a framework for maneuvering through the complexities of modern existence? And how might his advocacy for compassion and empathy resonate in a world often characterized by division and strife? These are the contemplations we must engage with as we delve deeper into the world of Schopenhauer's pessimism. In doing so, let us remain receptive to the profound insights and challenges his philosophy presents, while also critically evaluating its limitations and implications. As we continue to traverse Schopenhauer's philosophical terrain, it is crucial to explore how his pessimism interplays with the human quest for meaning and understanding. Schopenhauer's philosophy is not merely a grim portrayal of existence, but also offers a distinct perspective on navigating a world dominated by an insatiable will. A particularly fascinating facet of Schopenhauer's philosophy is his analysis of art and aesthetics. He holds art in high esteem as a conduit for temporary liberation from the will's dominion. In the realm of true art, be it music, painting, or literature, Schopenhauer perceives a fleeting suspension of the will's incessant striving. In these moments, individuals transcend personal desires, entering a state of pure, willless contemplation. This, he suggests, is a rare glimpse into a reality beyond the veil of personal desire and suffering, a brief yet profound escape from the unrelenting cycle of want and dissatisfaction that typifies human existence. This aspect of Schopenhauer's philosophy resonates deeply with our personal engagement with art. It beckons us to ponder whether our interaction with art could transcend mere entertainment or aesthetic pleasure, potentially serving as a medium for grasping deeper existential truths. Schopenhauer challenges us to perceive artistic experience not solely as a quest for beauty, but as an engagement with the deeper fabric of reality. Moreover, Schopenhauer's emphasis on asceticism and the renunciation of desires raises pivotal questions about the nature of happiness and fulfillment. In a society increasingly fixated on materialism and sensory gratification, Schopenhauer's call for the abdication of desire appears unconventional, even radical. Yet, it provokes us to question whether the relentless pursuit of material and sensory pleasures truly yields enduring contentment. Is there merit in moderating our desires? in seeking satisfaction in simpler, more introspective pursuits. Another critical dimension of Schopenhauer's philosophy is its intersection with ethical considerations. His portrayal of compassion as a fundamental virtue, born from the recognition of shared suffering, offers a compelling ethical framework. In a world characterized by individualism and competition, Schopenhauer's focus on empathy and compassion as responses to the universal nature of suffering holds particular significance. It encourages us to look beyond our immediate desires and interests, acknowledging the intrinsic interconnectedness of all beings. However, it is also imperative to critically examine Schopenhauer's pessimism and its implications. While his philosophy provides profound insights into the human condition, it also raises questions about its practicality in everyday life and its potential to engender nihilism or inaction. If life fundamentally revolves around suffering and the will is an unyielding force, what impetus do we have for action, for striving to better our world, or for participating in constructive endeavors? Does Schopenhauer's philosophy inadvertently lead to a form of resignation or passivity in confronting life's adversities? Furthermore, the historical and cultural context of Schopenhauer's philosophy cannot be overlooked. His philosophy emerged in a specific intellectual and societal context, and it is crucial to consider how his ideas interact with contemporary challenges. How do Schopenhauer's perspectives on desire, suffering, and compassion resonate in a world grappling with global issues like climate change, social inequality, and political unrest? Can his philosophy provide a framework for comprehending and addressing these complex matters, or does it offer a more personal, introspective approach to understanding and coping with the human condition. 
In conclusion, our journey through the philosophical landscape of Arthur Schopenhauer uncovers a terrain rich with profound insights and formidable propositions. Schopenhauer's pessimism, far from being a mere articulation of despair, presents a deep and nuanced examination of the human condition, exploring the nature of desire, the inevitability of suffering, and the potential avenues for transcendence. His philosophy urges us to confront some of the most fundamental aspects of our existence, the relentless cycle of desire and dissatisfaction, the transitory nature of happiness, and the profound role of empathy and compassion in a world fraught with suffering. Schopenhauer's focus on art as a vehicle for transcending the will prompts us to reevaluate our relationship with beauty and creativity, viewing them not merely as aesthetic experiences, but as gateways to a deeper comprehension of reality. Thank you.